Thousands of people in Greece are fleeing their homes as wildfires burn out of control. Fires that threatened north, northern suburbs of Athens in recent days have died back. But the fires on Evia, a large island northeast of the capital, have quickly spread, destroying thousands of hectares of land. Wildfires have ignited in many parts of the country during a week-long heat wave, Greece's worst in 30 years. Freelance reporter Katerina Fickery is in Limnos, Greece, and joins us now live. So, Katerina, what's the latest? The situation in Greece, uh, especially in Nevia, uh, keeps uh, is still uh, nightmarish. Uh, there are still fires burning on northern Nevia uh, at close uh, at close distance from uh, a town uh, where uh, the firefighters are still trying to to control the fire, but. It seems uh, it will take long until the, the fires in Evia uh, are under control. Uh, so uh, the, 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 the government and all the authorities focus on Evia and uh, they try to do the best they can. Of course, there are other uh, wildfires around Greece. The, there are m multiple uh, fronts they have to, to, to fight. So uh, the situation is still uh, very bad. We, there is no such a big improvement. The only improvement we have is in Athens, where uh, the, the fire seems under control. Uh, um, the government announced today they will give uh, around uh, half billion euros uh, for aid for the people who are suffering the consequences of the fires. And uh, we are still on hold to see what the situation will be uh, in Evia. Can you just describe you how hot it is, what the air is like, uh, you know, what, what it's like to kind of live in Greece these days, given the wildfires? There, there, we, there are very high temperatures at the moment, uh, not as high as in the previous days, but we still have, uh, uh, it, it, it is still uh, very high. Uh, and this makes the situation even worse. Uh, and this is the main reason uh, that uh, the, the situation uh, got out of control. And of course, uh, there are some, uh, it is reported that uh, uh, some people uh, are arrested for arsonism. So uh, the, the real reason behind the fires is still under investigation. What's expected in the days ahead? Uh, we hope that uh, in the next few days uh, the situation in, a in Evia will be uh, under control. Uh, and of course, uh, as you, you know, uh, this disaster uh, has many other consequences. Uh, we are afraid that we, have, we will have a very bad, uh, we a very bad winter because of the floods, uh, because this is the, the main consequence of the fire after uh, for the, in nature after fires and uh, people are desperate uh, in these areas uh, the, the government must find ways to give them uh, to give them homes and uh, the basic needs uh, there are many people around uh, trying to to help in any way they can to to gather food or uh, any other aid uh, and provide help to the people who mm. were struck by the fires. Katerina, thank you. That is uh, freelance reporter Katerina Fickery in Limnos, Greece.